Hey everybody, Ann here. Today I am on a mission. I am going to make biochar. What is biochar? Well, biochar is a carbon-rich residue derived from the pyrolysis of biomass. What is pyrolysis? The pyrolysis process is the thermal decomposition of materials at elevated temperatures, often in an inert atmosphere, meaning without oxygen. Anyway, biochar is carbon-rich residue derived from the pyrolysis of biomass and stands at the intersection of sustainability, agriculture, and environmental stewardship. This versatile material, characterized by its stable carbon composition, emerges as a promising tool in addressing pressing challenges, such as soil degradation, among other things. In agricultural settings, biochar demonstrates remarkable potential in improving soil fertility and structure. So I'm going to build a biochar burn chamber or retort using two number 10 cans, a pair of snips, and an old Phillips head screwdriver that I found in the mud, and a maul. Since I don't have a crimping tool, I went ahead and just used my snips and I just cut all the way down, you know, the first band there up until it starts, you know, the ridges are. Um, and then I'm just going to push some of them in so hopefully I'll be able to fit it down into the other can. Most people who do this use a crimping tool but you know I really don't have a lot of use for a crimping tool so I figured you know what I am just going to use these snips. Look at this old screwdriver. I dug it up out of the mud. I can't believe it. Uh, so I'm just gonna pound on this a little bit. Give it a few taps. You'd be better off just putting it on the ground and uh, make a hole, basically the size of the screwdriver. I hope it works, you guys. Then I had to find something to burn, and boy, I love me some pistachios, but I didn't want to throw out the shells because I figured, gosh, I could use them for something, right? So I have found a use for them. I am going to turn them into, hopefully... Hopefully turn them into biochar and I'm just going to fill this number 10 can up and uh, see if I can throw this in a fire and get it to turn all these into lovely, lovely biochar that I can then use in my garden. Yeah, I think maybe, maybe a couple more handfuls will do it. Yeah, I think that's enough. Time for the moment of truth. Will it fit? Will it fit? I'm just going to kind of put it down and then just gently push the sides in a little bit at a time. Yeah, I think this is going to work, you guys. I really and truly do. Yep, it worked. It holds together pretty well, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I don't think this little tiny fire pit that I built here is going to be big enough, so I think I need to expand it. There you go. Looks good. Perfect. Build a nice fire. Put the can down in the middle of it and just let it burn. It may be hard for you to see through the flames, but right now what it's doing is it's steaming. It's not smoke, it's just putting out steam right now. And hopefully, I don't burn up that plastic behind it. And here comes the flames. Everything has ignited on the inside, and it's pushing the flame out through the little hole it sounds like a rocket ship I had to like move where I was sitting because I don't know it was kind of scary really And from this angle, you can see where the flames are also shooting out the side, which is good. You know, I didn't want the whole thing to explode.
kind of looks like it's starting to peter out, doesn't it? It's been burning for about an hour now, and it is still burning on the inside, so I may need to get some more wood. Um, I don't know how long this is going to take. I've never done anything like this before, so... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to get some more wood, and if it's still, like, burning on the inside um, tonight, then I'll just let the fire go out and come check it in the morning. This is so cool, you guys. A very grumpy papa. It looks like it is pretty much done, so I'm not going to add any more wood. I'll just let this wood, you know, burn off, and it uh, looks like it's, yeah, nothing going on inside. This is the next morning, so it's time to open this bad boy up and see what's inside. I don't even know if I can get it open. I'm going to try. Oh, it, it sounds clinky. That's a good sign. Listen to it. It just sounds like light crystals, light as a feather, and you can crush them up pretty good, too. No ash. Essentially, no ash at all. This was a good burn, so next time I'm going to put some bigger wood in it and just see what happens. Oh my gosh, this turned out absolutely perfect, you guys. For now, I'm just going to dump it in this here little bucket because I've got a lid with it. And I just, I just cannot believe how good this turned out, you guys. And it looks like my biochar retort or burn chamber is still in good condition. And now it's time to inoculate it. I'm just using my weed juice, my fermented weed juice. And if you remember, I have uh, chicken compost in there. I've got leaf mold and um, lots of other good stuff. And I'm also going to add some of this fish emulsion. It's been going for basically a month and it smells horrible. But the fish have gone down to basically nothing i mean the bucket was half full and now it's just like hardly any fish in there and i'm just going to dump that in there too and give it a little stir Whew, smells awful and here's the other bucket um i didn't put molasses in that but it, it seems to be fermenting just fine and it smells just as awful and the fish have gone down to nothing as well. I am going to put a lid on it and I'm not going to seal it up tight. I'm going to leave leave it just kind of open a little bit and let it sit for at least two weeks. So my first attempt at making biochar was a success. I did it. And next time I'm going to use smaller um, cans too. I'm going to just save all my like larger cans. Um, I'd like to use one of those big um, spaghetti sauce cans, a couple of them, and uh, put some stuff in them and see how they work. Um, but I just, you know, I used what I had and you'll see uh, a bunch of other people doing videos and they add all kinds of stuff to it. Worm castings and, you know, alfalfa and seaweed and you know, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, but I didn't have any of that. I mean, I didn't even have a crimping tool, so I improvised. And I think that what I've got in there as an inoculant is going to work just fine without having all that other stuff, you know, because that's that stuff can be pretty expensive after a while. And um, I just used the resources I had. I've got some weeds and juice and um, crushed up eggshells, some uh, wood ash down in there. And um, 
you know, the chicken compost and uh, leaf mold and all that kind of stuff, it's going to um, add the good bacteria, you know, that you want going in there. And so that biochar is going to absorb all of that stuff. And because I've added water, so the, the water will help transport the good awesome minerals in there and along with the fish emulsion oh man that's going to be good so I'm just going to keep adding to it and um, I'm not going to use it for a couple of weeks um, but I will end up using it eventually so every time I light a fire I'm going to be making biochar as well so I'm excited to see the results um, I don't know how good my garden's going to do this year I keep saying this next year it's going to be great. Um so hopefully hopefully some of the stuff will grow. It's not looking very promising for some of the stuff but um hopefully they'll this will help, you know, kick start it and get it going. If not, that's okay. I've learned something in the process. Anyhow, um that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.